$50 a week every week for life starting in 10 years or $51 in your hand right now. I'm taking the option that enervates you existentially and buying myself an on-sale video game. Then, in 10 years, when the check would have come, I'll finally turn off the console. I'm just trying to get rid of this constant state of looking ahead at what's next. I'm young, dumb, and broke. And I want nothing else other than a ball harder than most folks ever dream of. My logic is like that thing you see when you weren't supposed to. And now your only hope is to assure the people you walked in on that's like the door never opened. If you're the dealer, then I'm the dope who's queued respectfully outside your storage container at 8am. Going to get sold on the dope who thinks he's dope because he smokes dope. There's no way we can both exist without one of us being smoked by the other or both. If I'm a reconnaissance agent, then I'm the most helpful one. That everything goes well and according to plan, but I know that sometimes you can't affect the course of your life as much as you would like to. So I guess I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed by this. I mean, the soap operas are getting too hard to quote. He put so much pressure on what he wrote and it shows. But why is he going for broke? Like a mad dash at the end could patch up all the holes in the story. Everything he told me was in a loaf with the nagging suspicion that this was all a dream-like scenario at one point. And now it's wrote. And I'm now and now I'm riding away into the horizon on a machine-like course while a stampede of angry ghosts are gaining on us. I scream a high-pitched note, like a whistle, and it freezes the ghost momentarily, just long enough for me and the horse to leap over the threshold, can't get past the salt. Sorry.